Okay, so, I just need to take her boat, drive it back to the island, preferably without crashing, and start talking to dead people, I guess? What's killing all the other dead people? Necrophages are not dead people, are they? They're not actually dead. This is, I keep saying that, and I'm, it's, it's wrong. They're not actually dead. And dead people would probably be horribly offended if they could hear me saying that. Which is fine, because now I have a lamp that lets me talk to them and apologise. And I'm slightly lost. So, business as usual, really. So I have to get in one of these boats, return to the haunted tower, and converse with spirits using a magic lamp, and find out what happened with the evil man doing experiments on humans. And if this is the strangest thing I do today, I'll be very, very surprised. However, uh, before I do that, before I hop off on a little boat journey, I am absolutely completely and utterly overloaded. I also could do a meditating, actually. I should have done that. Bef I have some different bombs. I've got a new bomb. Releases a cloud of demeritium slivers that block magic. And Oh, use that against monsters. Got it. That's just a... That's a blow things up bomb. Which I like. I like blowing things up bombs. That's a... Uh, Almost my favourite kind of bomb, actually. Um, and yeah, I will meditate, but what I'm thinking is I've got too much crap on me. And Midcopes is right there. And there are... There's an armourer. I can craft and repair stuff. Right, you know what? Let's go sell some stuff. But while I'm there, I do have... A contract that actually has some information I need to find while I'm there. Talk to the Elderman of Midcopes. Let's actually do that. Let's do that. Let's get back on this path. I suppose it's a path. Sort out my inventory because it is getting a little um, unmanageable. And find out the information on that contract. I'm, I'm not going to get distracted by it, hopefully. I do want to get... Okay, I do want to get on with what I'm doing. Have I? When I rose, fell a week, put her on a pine. Okay. Okay, that's it. Good folk, take no advice from the Pella. When our Rosa fell weak, he said to put her on a pine plank and stick it in a fired bread oven. Then count to a dozen three times. When we pulled her out, she'd burnt to a crisp and there was nothing left but to bury the charred bits. But the Pella refused to give back the three hard-boiled eggs we'd given him, saying he'd already eaten them. I hate to be horribly, horribly, um, horrible. But you did stick her in an oven. You really do have to be pretty damn stupid. Okay. To the thief who's nipping goods out of my pantry as soon as I put them there, that sausage you took last week, I prepared it specially for you. From the bloated carcass of a mare I found in the muck, rotten eggs and a handful of larvae. I then spat on it for seasoning and added some other highly personal ingredients. I hope you ate your fill, you scurvy rogue. <laughs> Take heed not to wander about after dark nor make any unnecessary racket. Keep your windows covered if you burn a candle, and don't throw any damp branches likely to smoke onto the fire. We've enough trouble in the village without attracting more. Dear neighbours, I've had these awful dreams where I open my mouth and all my teeth come tumbling out at once, then turn into vile, squirming little things that burrow into the ground. What could this pretend? Misfortune? Illness? A barren womb? If you know, pray tell, and I'll feast you with berries and broth. Krumhilda. Okay. Keep away from the Nilf Guardians. Good advice. I'll shear the hair off any trollop who fraternizes with the Nilf Guardians 
So her boldness will proclaim her shame to all, and I'll carve the face of any peddler who deals with the Black Ones or province provides them a service, a patriot. Okay, that's... no. That is not the way to do this. Merchant. Hello? An amulet. A bazaar. Some tortoise shells. Tortoise shells. Um, let's... We've played Gwent. We've played... If it's, if it's grade, we've played it. And I only need to play you once to get your special card. I need the practice, but I don't... You don't have a special card. If you had a special card, I'd play you. Show me your wares. I need to what sell else some... What else you have Corpse teeth and kidney stones. Tried remedies for trying times. Okay. Right, actually, while we're here, what would he... What would he... This, he will give me 23 for. Or, or will he? He'll give me 23 for. I, I want to check with the... There's, there is another trader so here, an armourer. And he is... Ahead. Has he... Oh. It's pretty dark. Armourer. You ain't safe unless you got a Gabrielle. Yeah. The auto crank one-handed Gabrielle ensures you get the first shot the and the last word. Okay, yeah, brilliant. Apparently that's the crossbow I already have. A round of Gwent, perhaps. I haven't played Gwent with you. Um, do I want to do that now? Can you craft something for me? No, show me what you got. I want to Let check me have out. a look at your stock. Do you pay more? He does, doesn't he? He pays more, which makes scent. Scent? Sense. It does make sense. Now, I can break this down, but honestly, I'm not totally sure I can be bothered. So, let's just... Oh, I don't want to sell that. I know I don't need it, but... Yeah, I don't... I, I just don't like selling stuff that has got names. I know it's probably strange. Spikerug, Akaton. I, I've already got one. already got one. You can have that one. I'm keeping that. So, the tracker's boots are better than the ones I'm wearing. Because the ones I'm wearing are the... Oh, right, no, that's right. The Condottier's boots, which give me this armor piercing, which I've still not quite figured out. But it sounds good. So, honestly, I think I'll stick with them. The tracker's boots I'll sell. Uh, well, I would if he had any money. Okay, so I can now make the Bounty Hunter's Gamberson, but I just noticed it's a required level 8, so that was a little... unnecessary. Okay. Probably shouldn't have spent all that time getting all the components for that. However, ah well, um, lesson learned. I've lightened the load. I've got all of my gear completely repaired. A round of Gwent, perhaps. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Um, oh, I can change my deck now, right? I can actually change my deck. How about you take a break from hawking? We play cards instead. Please let me change my deck now, because I've got it set up very, very badly. Right, so I've got total cards in deck, 27. Number of unit cards, 22. No, no, I've actually got it set up, don't I? I... He says, Commander's Horn. What was the Commander's Horn? Minus three to hearing. Um, biting Frost. What have I got? I've got... Clear weather, torrential rain, impenetrable fog, biting frost. Um, now, I've been told that it might be a good idea to remove some of the... Let's have a look. What have I tended to get lots of? I've got lots of missile and... Which is the one that... Impenetrable fog, a good commander's dream, war, a bad one's horror. That is the one for that affects missiles, right? Yes, it is. That's the one that affects missiles. Torrential rain is the one that affects uh, siege. Oh, it says down here, siege combat. I'm trying to get it from the description. Um, I almost never want to destroy siege combat, so maybe, maybe we, we, we get rid of that one. We'll remove that card. Right, I now have total cards in deck. 26. I want... What are my weakest cards? I should try and... 
And she's got nothing but right. Actually, it's you. You're you're the weakest card, mate. You're you're the weakest card here. So now the blue stripes commandos that they're actually quite strong because I can put them next to the same name. I mean, if I play all three on the same row, he he becomes massive. 21 card. All right, Kedweni Siege Expert, three of. Let's have a look at this. Plus one to all units, excluding itself. Do I really want three of these? I think the answer is no. So, why can't I remove that card? Oh, I can. It just it didn't make the clicky sound. So, I've got that. Um... I've got one decoy, which should be enough. I think we want the Crimford Reavers. That's 20. What else? I, I, biting, I've got Biting Frost. I kind of want the Impenetrable Fog. I like being able to disable their, their... I really do. I like being able to disable their their troops, but I do understand that, on the whole, I need to take some chances. Redanian foot soldiers, Zarpen. I need two more cards. Kedweni Siege. I mean, honestly, I don't really have the str strength of cards to, um, to pick and choose, do I? I really don't, so I think I just go back to the Impenetrable Fog. I now have one of each weather. No, I don't. Oh, God. It wasn't fog. It was... Torrential rain. I've now got one of each... Weather card. Plus a clear weather card. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, I don't need the clear weather card. Because... Clear any effect. Right, I've already got that, actually. So I don't really need it twice. So let's just take two cards that give us the maximum amount of... We're, we're putting you back in. We're putting you back in. And... What is Commander's Horn? Doubles the strength of all unit cards in that row, limited to one. Okay, that's a good card, isn't it? That is a good card. Right, okay. Special cut. Oh, that only counts as a special 20. All right, I still need one more. One more. Come on. You all look crap. I've already got a Kudweni Siege. That's... Um, all right, I'm just going to add a second one of that. I'm going to add a second one of that. There we go. Let's go. Start game. You will go first. Sets the strength of all close combat. Right, okay, choose to redraw. Um, enter to select, right. Biting Frost, Torrential Rain, Commander's Horn. These are all pretty good cards, actually. They're all pretty good cards. Biting Frost gets rid of melee. I have only one melee. Thing is, is with, with this guy, I wonder if it's worth keeping him, because you need multiples, but... Um, Torrential Rain gets rid of Siege Combat. Siege Combat I've got tons of. Siege Combat I've got tons of. I, I, I suspect, then, I should select that one. So it's... it's it was Enter to Select. I got a decoy now. I got a decoy. That's actually a good one. That's a good one. Alright, let's. How do I continue the game? Uh, not for feet. Escape to cancel. Escape cancels it. Here we go. Round start. My turn. I'm going to start. Let's start strong. Let's start. Strong opponent's turn. So what was he? Place next to a card with the same name, double the strength. Alright. But I've got Biting Frost. Let's...
And what did she do? Choose one card from your discard pile and play it instantly. No heroes or special cards. Okay. Um, no, we'll do that in a minute. Let's... What's he going to play? Torrential Rain! That's how you're going to play this, is it? That's how you're going to play this. So I'm now at two. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Because I have got... The leader card. I'm kind of I'm kind of interested to see where he goes with this. Um unless he's got two of the damn things. Tell you what, let's let's play it. Let's play it. Was it torrential rain again? He's done torrential rain again. No. Sent it back. All right. So he's now got some melee, which is which is fine for me. I have no problem with that. I am going to just back up the guys with some missile. Okay. Okay. Now what was what? Right now. Place on your opponent's battlefield counts towards your opponent's total and draw two cards from your deck. So he's drawn two more cards with that, but he's given me four, right? He's actually given me four, which is not bad, but my guess is he's then going to use the frost thing. That's interesting. Now, I can, of course, do the same right back on him with decoy that. Take the spy, play it on him. And, oh, that's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. Oh, God, no. I oh. I pressed enter. I keep forgetting I've got to click. I, it said enter to apply. I pressed enter to apply. Oh, I've just lost it because of that. God damn it. I, I want to enter to apply and then choose the card. But you have to choose the card first, then press enter. Oh, fuck. And I didn't want to pull that card back. I did not want to call, pull the card back. That is stupid. That is... Oh, I think I've actually just lost this game. God damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it all to hell. What have I got here? Right. I'm so annoyed now. Right, he's going to keep pimping that. That's fine. I've now... I, the thing is, is if I hold, he is going to crucify me on this one, but... He's going to crucify me on the next round, I think. I think he's going to absolutely murder me on the next round. But he's got a lot of strong cards here that I want to play, that I want to, I want to neutralize. He's now, he's now got to, who's cleared the weather? All right, okay, how many cards have he got? He's got four cards, I've got four cards. We got four cards each here. Um, I'm sort of thinking what I do is I boost this and hope he doesn't have another weather card to, to cripple me. But that should absolutely end this round for him, I think. Here, right? Bang. 34 to 19 now. He's got three cards left. I've got three cards left. Can he, in those three cards, neutralize this round? If he can, I should win the next round anyway, is my, my hope. So I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold. I think I've got the strength here. It depends what cards he's got, but this could be a mistake. Impenetrable fog. Oh, he's countered. 21 to 28. 
He won the round. He, he didn't have the cards and yet he played them. You idiot. You idiot. You absolute idiot. Because I have now got four bloody cards to to your zero, apparently. Um, dude, this is this is over. I played badly, you played worse. Um Well you've passed, so I can win. I don't even we don't even have a third round, but there you go. Alright. Fine. Victory! I played very, very badly. He played worse. I can't believe that. I've got to remember that when I'm applying the decoy. Make sure I... S Ugh, okay. Crowns! Ten! And... Renul a medicine. New item received. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so I've done all of the... Uh, minor things I need to do. I've got my armor... Repair, I've got everything sold. And I need to chat to... The Elderman. And he is somewhere south of me. Is this... This is... Elderman Bolko. Greetings. What do ye want? There you go. So the notice about Jenny of the Woods, you posted it, right? Oh, why? Twas me. You do it. You's a witcher, is you not? Yeah, Straight he is. off, a picture in me granny's book. Monstrum, or a portrayal of witchers. Remember, like it were today, we be afeard of her. But Jenny of the Woods, what's she to you? Um. Well, she's a job. Let's talk about the reward. We want to haggle. I don't want to... I... Just, just... You'll pay me, right? I... I'll do it. I'll do it. You'll pay me. I know you will. I'm on it. Know if anyone's seen Jenny of the Woods? Could tell me more about her. Old Willem must have. But he won't tell you naught. He were weak of heart. We found him in the fields this morning. Other folk are afeard to go out nights. But you might try Agneta, lives at the end of the village. Word is she saw the wraith. And nothing happened to her? She wasn't hurt? Agneta? Outlived three husbands, that one. Jenny of the Woods won't do naught to that wench. I wouldn't that bet on be. that if I were you, but um, all right. So, I need to search the nearby fields using witch senses. This is for Jenny of the Woods. Now, honestly, I think I'm going to do this later. Yeah, I'm going to do this later. It's... I'm going to be coming back into this neighborhood. I was actually... I was supposed to be taking a boat over to this side. I'm going to do that anyway. I, I was thinking I could actually take, a, t take the road down here. But I think I should actually get on with that job. I think I should get on with that job. I'm going to be back in this neighborhood anyway. For now, what I want to do is... Oh, God, no, no. I have no idea. I haven't even got my fingers on that button. Punching the bloody locals. So, yeah, um... It was over in this direction, was it not? Yeah, let's go take the boat and talk to these spirits. What the? Where are you? Almost you there. Scared me half to death, woman. I shall contact you again soon. Wait, this Xenovox. Can I contact you with it, or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? <sighs> my feminine intuition. Wonderful. Yeah, could you just not do that again? Or at least give me some warning. Not sure how you'd give me any warning for that, but just. Can we make the sound a little more pleasant? Okay. We're heading towards... Wait a minute, why is the... Okay, it wants me to land at this side of the island. Maybe... 
All oh, right, of course, there are lots of little spirit things all over the place, aren't there? Maybe I need to um, find them. Are you on the aisle yet? Don't yes. the Zenovox work? Can you hear me? What? I can't hear. Great, bro. I heard. Ready. I heard. Short lived this magic. What did you say? There's some interference. You must be very careful. I'm always very careful. Um. Right, so. Rot fiends. And. Boom! Where were your friends? Die where? Die where? Oh, is he in the water? Is he in the water? Is he in the water? Where are you? Where are you? He's over there. Okay, that's... Alright, well, you know what? Stay in the water for all I care. Oh, they can burrow, can't they? He's burrowed under the water. He's burrowed in the ground under the water. Oh, you know what? Feel free to stay there. So, I'm supposed to now be optional. Use the magic lamp to find ghosts. How do I use the magic lamp? How do I use the magic lamp? Can I... Can I... Oh. Where's the magic lamp? That's a silver monocle. Where's the magic lamp? Do I... Do I get to use the magic lamp? No, I do not want to destroy it. No, that was the wrong key. That was the wrong key. I want to sort things. Yes. Um... That's not a lamp. That's the Xenovox. That's the silver monocle. That's the eye of Nehalini. Where's my bloody lamp? I don't have... Oh, I've got it on me. Of course I do. Mm, shut up. Um, right. Magic lamp. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I like this. Okay. Can I not move faster when I have the magic lamp out? Alright, so I just use that when I see the bubbles. Is that what I should do? That's probably what I should do. I can usually see the bubbles. I think I can. I remember seeing some of them outside. Out of curiosity, do I... Necrophage oil, 14... See, dead body, you'd have thought, maybe... No? Okay. Oh god, there's that awful fly thing. Now, I remember fire should do the trick against them. There was Yes! There was one somewhere over there, wasn't there? Yes, there. There, 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 there. So I can see them. Let's try Kira's lamp. Yeah, let's do that. They're on to us. They're not letting Graham in! Quiet fool. Babylon and the noble himself will hear you. Nah, he sat his arse on silk pillows, lightly be gobbling meat. <laughs> With no notion we's coming to tear him to shreds. Waste clear, lads. Adam! Okay. I'm hearing movement around me. Right. 
tower full of mice. Let's just kill this thing. And check the journal. Tower full of mice. A horrible curse had befallen Filk Island and the tower that stood upon it. Half a year prior, Lord Vesered had moved his court there, seeking shelter from the approaching Nilfgaardian armies. While famine raged all around, the Lord of Valen wallowed in excess and cared not a whit for his suffering vassals. The gods saw fit to punish him, and towards his, uh, this end cursed him. One day, a host of mice scudded into the tower and proceeded to devour everything, including Vesered, his court, and his resident mage, Alexander. Okay... The isle had been haunted since that day, and other fishermen feared to sail the lake, putting yet another dent in the already battered local, local economy. The local peasants thus asked Kira to lift the curse, and she turned to the Witcher for help. Enticed by Kira's charms and her promises of additional rewards, Geralt took on the task. The sorceress equipped him, equipped him with a magic lamp he could use to commune with dead souls, gave him a firm pat on the rear for good luck, and sent him off to lift the curse. Explore the tower and optional use the magic lamp to find the ghosts. Well, that is what we're going to do. And there were some more outside, I think. Let's just check around. I should have killed the worst denizens of this place, although I shouldn't take that for granted. Okay. Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. Millie! M Millie, what's with you? I don't know. So up. Uh, burn him. Ah. What? No. No. Stay back. Don't leave me. Okay. So they were attacking the castle. Crow's eye. Probably need that. Odd time to be uh, a wolfbane. Odd time to be picking flowers. I do appreciate. What oil should I put on my sword? I, I feel like, if anything, it's going to be... I'm going to be attacked by rats. Aren't I? Should I switch swords? Probably. Let's just. Where's that noble? Lion here. Oh, good. Where's that noble? Lion here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shite. There'd be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should we make us suffer? He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the daughter. So they Turn weren't... The right, okay. So, I mean, here's the thing. They, I was expecting them to find them already dead and eaten by mice or something, if the legend was true, but... The gods saw... I mean, this this has got to be a, a lie. The gods saw fit to punish him and towards his end cursed him. One day a host of mice screwed into the tower, devouring everything. Th that didn't seem to happen. It looks like they just got some locals who were annoyed and came in and killed them. Okay, we've got basement. And then some legend came up about mice. Rich folk. Doubt I'll ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe. Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing them's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for them. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench! Okay. Little odd. 
So maybe it was the rats? They released the rats and the rats killed everything? I might as well keep the, the, the lamp out. I don't actually speed up. I'm forced to walk here. Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'm not hearing them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. Okay, so it was. It was peasants. It wasn't. They weren't turned into bloody rats. It doesn't seem to want to um, update this. Yeah, the gods help me. Right, this is this is just a tale. This is just a complete and utter fabrication. The peasants revolted. The peasants are revolting, my lord. Oh, I don't know. They're not that bad. Yes, I know. Terrible joke. And probably a terrible time to be Hello? I did hear some crying, didn't I? I heard some crying. Let's check these rooms. Gold! Piles of it! Oh, won't do the dead any good now, will it? Strange is still here. The noble died a time ago. Oh, no, wait. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? Okay, so look. Did they find the noble dead? Because they, they said he was dead and he had a, his head caved in, axe in his head or something. I thought these were the guys that came to storm the castle. Maybe it was two groups. Maybe there was a curse of the gods. I'm a little confused. More than a little. Okay. This must be the crying lady still. Where is she leading me? Yeah, believe it or not, I've already done that. That's the stairway up. Is there anything else here, ghost-wise? No. You know what? Just on a whim, I'm going to put spectre oil on. I, I, I don't know if spectres are what I'm going to find, but it does seem to be the single most likely thing, doesn't it? Okay, quest updated. Use Kira's lamp to investigate Alexander's laboratory. Yeah. Okay. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? No. No need to... No, uh, I'm a witcher, should I say? Or should I just say no need to fear me? I, I kind of want to be nice. Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Major's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. The mage of the tower, who was he? Yeah. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's 
dead too, you know. Yeah. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Okay, let's find out what actually happened. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. Yeah. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. Right. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. The potion, what was it? What happened next? What was the potion gone? What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell, what it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. But you were and then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Your beloved failed to... Okay. Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Hmm. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms. Tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... Nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone. It was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I... Couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. Oh, God. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? Right. Can you talk to the others? Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Tiny little bit. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're different. Am I hitting on a ghost? Re really? Found a fresh corpse in the tower. You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him. Recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my saviour, not my tormentor. Um, I kind of need the information to help you. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. But who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Graham. No, he lives. I would know if he died. But 
but he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Right, yeah, tell me about Graham. Your beloved. Who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected, strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. Okay. It's all a nightmare to me. That's a little suspicious, isn't it? The curse is focused on you. That was a tiny bit suspicious. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the Isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land. The base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest, should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him, he must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? I'm... Can I just look around a second? Really hope I can help. Need to look around first. Whatever for? Not in the tower, but bones and rats. Don't leave me with them again. I'll come back for you. You can be sure. Very well, but come back soon. Don't keep me waiting. Okay, okay. The thing is, he's... A horrible... Right, we've read all this. Use that right. There's something not quite... Right, is there? When will this nightmare end? We had some corpses upstairs, I seem to remember. Could I...? There's something she's not telling me. She can leave here, but she doesn't want me to know. She... There wasn't anything out here. I... Oh... Is she the monster? If I take her bones out of here, am I going to be releasing a monster? Alone. All have left me. Am I going to be releasing a monster? Or... or... Oh! What?! Okay, didn't take any damage. I'm I'm just really not sure what else there is. I I'm trying to remember what Alexander was saying. Alexander's notes. We did actually have his note. We did actually have his notes, didn't we? Um Letter to Alexander. This is from Kira. I'm writing because you must be worried that I'm still angry. Silly man, you know for well I never hold a grudge long. I forgive you. It's all because of that secretiveness of yours. It is so strange for me to take an interest in your plague research. I adore watching you at work in your tower. Please, if you still refuse to discuss the results of your experiment with me, at least don't deny me that small pleasure. If Vizara doesn't need you tomorrow evening, come see me. We'll clear everything up over a glass of wine or two or more. That was, that was from Kira, wasn't it? Where were the other stuff? Um, yeah. I mean, this is just... He, he had loads of experiments going on. 
Okay, Vesara avoids the laboratory and has expressed his desire for his daughter to stay clear of me as well. At first I thought he feared a moral scandal which would be risible in the extreme, but he explained the true pash reason for his in due course. It seems Annabelle has always possessed a fragile psychic constitution. Observing the ill might throw her into foul humours. Uh, the peasants taking part in the study have stopped speaking to me. Yeah. My black rat has died today. I found him curled up in his cave. I suspected he'd become infected on accident, but during an autopsy, I did not uncover any signs of illness. He was also perfectly well fed. Strange, from a medical point of view, his death remains unexplained, something which I must admit irritates the scholar in me. So, Annabelle has a fragic psyche. She took a potion. I don't know what the... I don't know what... Nightmare end. Was there anything else? Optional. Are there are there other ghosts I should talk to? Are there other ghosts I should talk to? Alone. Could there be other alright. Let's go and All let's go. Have left me. Let's go and have a look at the uh, downstairs. I can't believe how slowly. I move though, that's the big problem there. It's so slow. If I could jump off the top of the tower, that would be faster. There is just something about her is twinging my medallion, so to speak. God, it's so slow. Oh, oh I can sprint. I can actually sprint. I can't toggle and run, but I can sprint. Oh, God. Really? Can I sprint downstairs? Is it a good idea? Oh, God. Oh. Um, how do I get out? Where was out? Oh, no. Gotta go further down. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a relief. That is a bit of a relief. Right. Why can't I? What's with the door? You wish to leave. What do you want? Oh, that's bad. No more lies. No more deceit. You will stay here for all time. You will never leave. Okay, no, no. I just wanted to check. To... Okay. okay. Pesta? What the hell's a pesta? Oh, whatever that is, it's a pester. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, mo oh god, really? Gotta catch them. Gotta catch them. Tower full of matter. I don't know. Well, there's a pester. What just happened? What just happened? Follow the Plague Maiden. Where? Follow the Plague Maiden. Okay. Okay. Okay, Plague Maiden. Pla oh, God. Okay, Plague Maiden, Plague Maiden. What, what the, right, it's not a necrophage, it's a spectre, Plague Maiden. Patients seem to have hallucinations of a woman covered in scabs and boils, rats scurrying around her. The raving subsided after administration of henbane and poppy extract. The plague ravages a region, a spirit will sometimes walk its lands. A ghost resembling an ill woman whose flesh rots off her bones and in whose wake crawls a cavalcade of rats. No one knows whether this spirit belongs, brings the pox with her or is merely drawn to it like a moth to a light. Yet it is certain that she delights in dealing pain and suffering, in hearing the howling and moaning of men. Many have called into question the very existence of plague maidens. I've not! Or pesti, as they are sometimes called. Only two sightings of such a creature have ever been recorded, both during times of rampant epidemic. Spectre oil and Erden. Erden. I need Erden. Am I bleeding? I think I'm bleeding. Okay, so. Wait, got it, got it. 
It is. It's all, it's all about the urn. All about the urn. All about the urn. And bloody flies. God, I hate the flies. I hate the flies. Right, okay. Urden again. I cannot kill you. Okay? What was that? It sounded for a moment like you joined the race yourself. No. I fight a pester. A pester? And did you learn how to lift the curse before you lunged at her sword in hand? Yeah, we talked a bit. Looks like I need to get her beloved to the island. Fisherman named Graham. I know the man. He lives in Oriton, village on the lakeshore. Find him immediately. We're close to unraveling this. I can feel it. Okay. That's nice. But while we're at it, could we possibly talk about your relationship with Alexander? <laughs> 